Chris Jericho is the GOAT. Not only is he one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, having won world titles in the WWE and most recently in AEW, but artistically, he's done more than just about anyone outside the business of pro wrestling in this modern age. He's toured the world as the fantastic frontman of Fozzy, is a New York Times best-selling author, is the host of the Talk is Jericho podcast, and even competed on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. Being a lifelong music fanatic, Chris understands that entrance themes must be energetic because from that first note, it sets the tone of your character and alerts the fans as to what kind of performer they're about to see. And having a career that's spanned over four decades long, he's had his fair share of influential anthems. From Lionheart to Le Champion, let's take a look behind the themes. Unskinny Bop by Poison. In his book, A Lion's Tale, Around the World in Spandex, Jericho states that he used Unskinny Bop as his entrance theme for the first dozen or so matches of his career. Back in 1990, and about a week after Chris arrived in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, to begin his wrestling training with the Hart Brothers, Flesh and Blood was released and went on to sell over 7 million copies worldwide. However, around that time, there was a musical movement on the horizon from the Pacific Northwest of the United States that spelled the end of the for glam metal, but that didn't stop the Ayatollah of rock and roller, who has always had a soft spot for one of the top hair metal bands of all time. The groove of Unskinny, especially the drum bass intro, has a strong swagger to it and was a solid first choice to kick off the jams of Jericho. Gonna Make You Sweat by CNC Music Factory. While Jericho has always given a ton of thought to his entrance music, unfortunately, early on in his career, he wasn't always in control of his song choices. Paying his dues south of the border in the Mexican promotion CMLL, where he wrestled as Corazon de Leon or Lionheart, the powers that be in charge there saw Jericho as this teeny bopper heartthrob for all the little muchachas to throw themselves at. So they gave him what they thought was the most fitting jam at the time, Gonna Make You Sweat by CNC Music Factory. Now, Typically, any song that begins with a strong and powerful line of everybody dance now is sure to make you feel like a winner, but this made Jericho feel like more of a loser than being on Dancing with the Stars. Enter Sandman Metallica. Chris Jericho is living the dream of every over-the-hill boomer and fulfilling both his life goals of being a professional wrestler and a rock star, baby. The crowning jewel of this achievement has to be the fact that he now sings his very own theme song, as do his adoring AEW fans. Back in 1991, Metallica's Black Album was released and proved to be a game changer in turning the band into a genuine mainstream phenomenon that's embedded deep within the DNA of pop culture as a whole. And the album's first single, the heavy and haunting Enter Sandman, with its crunching opening guitar riff and long, drawn-out opening build was bestowed upon Jericho during his time in Mexico and Japan since he was viewed as the quote-unquote rocker guy. But it just wasn't a good fit because it only took Chris like 45 seconds to get to the ring. Rock America, Danger, Danger. When Jericho teamed up with his old training buddy Lance Storm to form the extremely entertaining tag team of the Thrill Seekers in the early 1990s, they had one goal in mind, to rock America. Now we know what you're thinking, how could two Canadian Canucks make it in an old school wrestling territory like Smoky Mountain Wrestling in the Appalachian area of the US that was run by a spaz like Jim Cornette? Well, if Jericho wasn't trying to be such a white meat babyface, he would have told all those country bumpkins to shut the hell up and give a listen to glam metal band Danger Danger's song Rock America, which helped to showcase that the thrill seekers were just two dudes who knew how to have fun by hanging out at the local arcade, horseback riding, and of course, feeding goats. Electric Head Part 2 by White Zombie after spending a few years wrestling internationally in Germany and Japan, Jericho found himself again back in the United States around 1996 and, might I add, during quite a seismic shift in the wrestling world. A new attitude and another movement had been bubbling to the surface, but ladies and gentlemen, it took Paul Heyman to be the one to bring it all to a head when he unleashed extreme championship wrestling to the unwashed masses. And you see, Paul E. has always been a huge fan of Jericho's 
Blues and decided to bring Chris to Philadelphia after speaking with hardcore legend Mick Foley, whose positive recommendation opened the bingo hall door for Lionheart to become an instant favorite with the EC dub audience. Also helping Chris develop an edge to his character was this Rob Zombie banger, which showed off Jericho's grit, determination, and intestinal fortitude in becoming more than just a pretty face to the fans. All the Days of My Life by Mammoth. Hilariously told in Jericho's first best-selling book, A Lion's Tale Around the World in Spandex, his original WCW theme song was an upbeat, softish rock song that he thought was awful and fell as flat as Miley Cyrus's ass. It was hokey and corny, but fitting enough at the time for a smiling baby-faced Lionheart. Turns out this song was an instrumental version of the band Mammoth's 1988 hit All the Days of My Life, a tune that could have easily appeared in a late 80s Brat Pack movie, but instead Instead, this generic journey ripoff just made WCW fans despise Jericho and his over-the-top goody two-shoes gimmick even more. One crazed anarchist. No one needed to put Chris in an arm bar to make him turn heel, and soon enough it happened. He was finally a cocky, flamboyant heel who had the freedom to do whatever he wanted to not only pop himself, but to also annoy the audience. Let's face it, charisma has never been an issue for Jericho. He's always shown brightest when on camera, and that presence has only grown stronger as his career progressed. And this turn was the turning point that strapped a rocket to his back. Along with this character change, so did his theme music. Now, it wasn't a perfect entrance theme by any means, but it was much better than his previous tune, and I'm kind of biased anyway because Even Flow is one of my favorite Pearl Jam songs. One of the better rip-off themes that the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, and WCW produced and composed, it probably should have been called Flow Even. Get it? Flow Even, Even Flow? Okay. Break the Walls Down by Jim Johnston with Jericho unable to break through WCW's glass ceiling, he knew his destiny was meant to take him to the WWE, where Y2J's Break the Walls Down entrance theme is the best he's ever had. It's got the perfect vibe and feeling for who Jericho was as a performer at the time, with the classic opening to let people know exactly what's up. Without a doubt, the greatest WWE debut <laughs> Ever. With its iconic Titantron countdown clock, the arena lights fade to black, and then the massive pyro explosion that followed all meant one thing. The Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla was about to change the business. Chris Jericho's days as a WWE superstar started and ended with this unmistakable tune, with a few various remakes in between. But this theme will forever be synonymous with the highlight of the night because it's the perfect entrance theme, giving fans around the world an incredible sense of anticipation and excitement. King of My World by Saliva. Jericho's short-lived entrance theme from Saliva didn't quite capture the imagination of fans like his timeless Break the Walls Down did. Now, although it appeared on the three-disc WWE Anthology CD released in 2002, King of My World was only ever used twice, which is a shame because it's freaking epic. Straight out of the early 2000s super generic new metal stage, the story behind this theme that Jericho has said over the years and most recently told Stone Cold Steve Austin during his appearance on the Broken Skull Sessions in April of 2021 okay, was that he just didn't like the song because it didn't have the vibe or bite he needed as the first ever WWE Undisputed Champion. However, the bottom line was Vince wanted to use this theme a few times for business purposes to which Y2J obliged. Judas by Fozzie. Looking back at all the nicknames that Jericho has gifted us throughout his illustrious career, ones like the Demo God and the Pain Maker ring true. But if we had to narrow it down to only one, it would have to be the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla, because Jericho and his Fozzy bandmates created a song that somehow rivals his memorable Break the Walls Down theme. Judas has become an anthem for AEW fans as these organic crowd sing-alongs have reached a level no one has seen in pro wrestling since 
since Daniel Bryan's Yes Chance. And not only has Judas become the only Fozzy song to hit the top five on the U.S. mainstream rock chart, it's also undoubtedly the best wrestling entrance theme going today. So drink it in with a little bit of the bubbly, man. You just made the lexicon list of Le Champion as one of the greatest ever.